Hey everybody, I know it's been a second since I made a video. It's been like two weeks. Um, a lot has happened. A lot of good things have happened. A lot of bad things have happened. I got a new tattoo. It says resilient because I'm cheesy. And if you see any glitter in my hair, please ignore it. I don't know why, I just... Like, if something's not there, it's not supposed to be there, but it's there, it bothers me, but... You got it, dude. Everyone else has left now. I bet that this got you stressed out. Wondering what can we do now? Maybe let it burn out. When I can't feel my face, mine's twisted and weird way. Wondering. Against the sunlight, wanna have a long night. Night mysteries, night mysteries. Under spotlight, don't let me out of your sight. Two energies, two energies. Mm. Glitter sparkling on your heart now, darling. Don't you stay? I'm here. Okay, beautiful lovelies. So I did have it clipped because it has bangs. Okay. And I was not feeling the bangs today because I have to cut them because they are not my preferred length. So whenever you get a wig like this, they always come with really super long bangs. And I think that's because they want to give you the option to cut them to, to the desired length yourself. But this wig is absolutely beautiful. It's not too long or super long. You know, it goes maybe down to my chichis. And it's pretty soft. The gradient color is so beautiful. It goes from like a purple to a mauve to a pink to an orange and I'm honestly obsessed with the color and I am going to 
get my scissors so that I can cut both of the bangs on these wigs on camera because I didn't do it last time I did a wig review because I was just I was just tired I've been tired but I will do it for this one so I need to go steal my stepdad's cutting shears real quick all right I got my cutting shears and I got a trash can so you know that I mean business this review is all over the place however after I cut the bangs I am going to tell you some specs about the products, um, the price of this wig, yeah, just like more, more goodies about that. I'll show you the inside of the wig, but for now, I would like to be more comfortable, and that means cutting these dang bangs. So I always like have a discrepancy with myself whenever I get a new wig with bangs because I never know how short I want to cut the bang. Because, like, I can either be, like, up here or I could be right here. I think I'll just do a little bit above my eyebrows and see how that goes. Okay, that's kind of high above my eyebrows. Oh, well. I think it'll look fine. I hope it looks fine. Does it look fine still? I don't know. Like, I feel like it looks okay, but it also looks like a disaster, too. Yep, definitely. Y'all know Melanie Martinez's haircut? Like, like nowadays, like 2021? I feel like she- this is totally random and unrelated. But I feel like she went to a barber and was like, make me look like a fairy. And the lady was like, I have just the thing. Like, I feel like that's what happened. I don't know, I just thought about that. Because I was thinking about her bangs, you know? How they used to be, how they are now. Um, cool. This shirt is what's throwing it off for me because this, I don't know, it's a unisex shirt and I feel like the shirt makes me look kind of fat and kind of like a man. But those are my own issues, you know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. So, I cut the bangs. Um, do they look ridiculous? I don't know. Do they look good? I don't know. That is for you to decide here on this day. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's my real hair. Okay. So, that looks good, right? I think so. Okay. So, this is the front with me having cut my bangs. This is the side. The thing I love about this wig is that it's not too, like, bumpy at the top. It's very rounded, very, like, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like you could clock it that bad. Or, like, it's a good-looking wig, you know? So, now on to the specs of this wig. All right, so on the UO box... Uwu box, Uwu box. I'll sp I'll put their logo and I'll spell it out. Uwu box. I'm gonna call it that. No, I'm gonna call it Uwu box, cause that's cute. On the Uwu box website, the wig is called Uwu box 2021 series wigs. Spell mixed purple, red, orange wig. U two zero two one zero nine. It is made out of a high temperature resistant fiber. It's a one size, so you can't get like a smaller or a bigger size to fit your head. They say how long it is, but I'm gonna give a guess and say that it's fifth. Mm -mm. I don't know how you measure wigs if you measure from here to here or here to here. I would measure from here to here, and I'm gonna say. It's like 20. I'm gonna, that's my rough guesstimate estimate is 20 inches. And it's pretty lightweight. Um, it's a little bit, if you go like this, it shows a little bit. However, if it were me and I were trying to do a hairstyle, um, you could try to finesse it, like be like that and then like spray it with some hairspray or, um, use some bobby pins 
I really like it. I think the cap size is a little bit small. Because like this, you you know, it looks normal. But like this, you can tell like my whole hairline is coming out. So the cap is a little bit small. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm getting my hair dyed on Thursday, by the way. I'm really excited. All right, excuse my beautiful mess. So the inside is like this. It has uh, two clips on the side. Oh, okay, these are the kind that open and close too. Uh, there's no clip in the middle though. And the parting is just like one of the plastic parts like this, but I think it looks good. I like the part on this one, like when I'm wearing it, I don't think it looks too fake to be honest. If I were to wear this in public, Yes, people would probably know it's a wig. Like, if I just wore it without a hat or anything. But honestly, with it on, I think it looks really realistic. It's not overly shiny. It's not no freaking party city wig. Like, the colors are just absolutely beautiful. They did a really good job with the ombre color design on this. It's really soft. And the price is $45.99, which honestly, I think that's a pretty fair price for the quality of hair that you're getting. Because it's, it's beautiful. It's extremely beautiful. The parting doesn't look that horrendous. It really doesn't. And the bangs, you can customize yourself. So that's always a plus, you know. I'd rather them be too long than too short. And I think that's what wig companies like this do. So yes, this is our beautiful girl. I think her name is Spell. I think that's what the official name of this one is. And so now on to our next wig. All right, so my immediate reaction when I first saw this one, I haven't even like <laughs> cut the tag off of this one. My first immediate reaction is um, the rainbow pony from My Little Ponies. Excuse my hair. That That's the vibe I get. So it's half orange and yellow ombre and half purple magenta um almost okay yeah pink ombre okay so we got two colors on this side and then three colors on this side i also forgot to mention that on this one and on the other one it comes with sorry it comes with these little adjusted straps so if it's too big for you you can hook it onto one of those little things right there and make it a bit tighter. This one on the inside is very similar, probably the exact same to the other one as well. And I have not tried this one on yet. Um, this one's a little bit shinier than the other one. I noticed that right off the bat. It's a little bit shinier. And a lot longer. This one's a lot longer. Um, the parting. It looks okay. I think the shininess is giving it away a little bit. However, this is this would still be a very good cosplay wig. So I'm going to put it on and trim the bangs. And we're going to see how we feel about it. Okay, this one already feels roomier. Okay, I am... Okay, I think it's just, it's as small as the other one. Because my hair, it's not wanting to like, cut. oh, okay, I'm going to use the clips. I'm going to be smart and resourceful and use the clips. Okay, so, oh, Rainbow Dash, that's her name. Sorry to all the bronies and all the Pegasisters. <laughs> so it's definitely one of those wigs that has an enormous amount of body and volume. Because... You know when they have a lot of body and volume that they're hard to function in. Like, sure, I would wear this maybe if I did cosplay. I should have did this angle with the other freaking wig, whatever. This would be really awesome for a cosplay or dressing up for a festival or... Um, if you take Halloween really seriously and you really like dressing up really nice for Halloween. It's absolutely beautiful. The only downfall is it's just a bit more, um, shinier. You can tell a little bit more that it is a wig. And from the curl pattern you can tell it's a wig. 
But honestly, if you're into like Lolita stuff, that's that this would be really cute for that also. For some reason, I kind of like the bangs like this. Um I hope that I don't regret it if I cut them. I kind of love long bangs sometimes. But I feel like maybe it looks too fake or something. And then, I don't know, bangs never look right with a beanie for some reason. Honestly, I thought I liked the other wig better, but I think I like this wig better. Because my first impression of this wig was, oh, you know, it looks kind of like, I don't know, too shiny or too much like a rainbow dash. But it's honestly really growing on me and I kind of want to like go out in public with this on just to do it just because because I look like a baddie like you know like I look like a fairy and I kind of am living so I think what I'm gonna do I'm going to straighten this wig and I think I'm gonna keep the bangs as they are because this length and this thickness I like it I like the bangs like this because Sometimes, if they're too high, they make you look like a weirdo. And then sometimes, if they're not, like, low enough. Like, I've had my natural bangs be like this. And it makes me look like I have a unibrow because I have brown hair. But I like these bangs. These are a good size. I wish that every wig had this size of bang. Because then, if you don't want to cut it, it looks good anyways. But everyone has a different head shape and bangs fall differently on people. Also, you can literally just scoot it back if you want them a bit shorter. It looks kind of silly. So I'm going to keep them where they naturally laid the first time. I always wonder if I should put heat protectant on my wigs, but like it's not real hair. So like why would I waste, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I hate waste my heat protectant on that, you know? Oh, it is getting really hot. The hair is physically getting really hot. Ooh, it straightened really pretty. Oh my gosh, look how long it is. I feel like Nicki Minaj. Wow. This... This is the longest wig that I own. Like, dead serious. This is the longest wig that I own. Hold on, I'm gonna stand up so you can see this. Okay, so this is me standing. It goes like to my waist. It is so long, but I feel like a baddie. I'm wearing this today. I really am gonna wear this today. I might go to the park. I just want someone to see me in this beautifulness. Like, I really thought the other one was my favorite. I bet the other one would look so beautiful straight in, too. But I think I'm just going to straighten this one on camera for now. Because this video is already 30 minutes long. One of the only cons about just having a split-colored hair wig in general is the colors can end up, like, on the wrong side. Like, here's some purple and, like... I have some yellow. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I just like f flip it back over, but it's a little annoying. I think I love it so much because it kind of reminds me of like um, the scene phase. Like I had a really big scene phase, obviously. And I watched this girl on YouTube named like Amberlynn something and she ended up going to cosmetology school too um and she did all kinds of videos like dyeing her hair and she would do like beautiful beautiful hair and this is kind of what it reminds me of and i was always so jealous of her like like you know how like there's some people on youtube who can just like dye their hair whatever they want and it's like how do you do that how are you constantly dyeing your hair all the time like and then there's me over here like 
literally, I'm going to a salon to get my hair done. It's going to be 320 freaking dollars. Don't tell my mom. I mean, it's my money, but still, she would get, she would get mad. She would be like, why are you spending all your money? And blah, blah, blah. Anyways. So, like, I have black box dyed hair that I got, um, like a shampoo bleach. Like this lady, like, she said she did a bleach wash on my hair to try to get it back to brown. And it does look brown, but it's not all, like, the same brown as my natural brown hair. And... This is straightening really good, by the way. This handles heat very nicely and very well. But yeah, like, she's tell Because I wanted to do a half dark, dark brown and half blonde. And she, I showed her a reference picture and she's like, Yeah, we're not going to be able to do a platinum blonde. The best I can probably do for you is like a dirty blonde. And like, I accept that, you know, like... I was kind of expecting her to say, no, I don't want to bleach your hair at all. Your hair is not healthy enough. I was expecting her to say that. But she said it was doable. It's just not going to be a bleach blonde. And I'm like, honestly, I'm fine with that. I just kind of want to do something new with my hair. I feel like I'm going into a new chapter in my life with all my new changes and... I really want to express myself that way. I haven't ever done split dyed hair before. I never really did my, like, dyed my hair that crazy. Like, I've dyed it pink and um, black and bleach blonde and brown. But I've never done, like, split hair. And I've never done, like, other, like, fun colors like blue or red or whatever. And I'm honestly really excited. Because I feel like it's going to really like help my confidence and give me a confidence boost. Because I'm also going, I've been talking about this constantly, but I'm going to cosmetology school. And I want to impress everyone, you know. Like I, I want to look good and I want them to be like, wow, she's really serious about this. You know, like I want to make a really good impression and really like show my talent, show who I am and show my passion. I think this hair is dope. This hair is a bomb. Especially with straightening it. Wait. This is so cool. Oh my god. It's so cool. Of course I do have my little bump right here. Wow. Sorry I done went so long without talking about the specs of this beautiful wig so now i'm gonna tell you the name of it and the goodies and all that it looks a bit different online now that i i'm looking at it so online this looks way darker up here this looks like almost like a black mauve that runs into red but in person it's that's a pink that's 100 percent pink so don't let the picture fool you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting on my computer or their lighting. I don't know. So it's called the Uwu Box 2021 Series Wig Key U202107. Um, high temperature resistance fiber. Okay, we done seen that already. The color is called Time Preference. Time Preface Key red and yellow and this one is also $45.99 it is it's beautiful I just cannot get over just how how beautiful it is and I think I'm gonna go to the park today and I'm gonna wear it at the park and make everybody jealous so yeah thank you so much to uwu box or uo box for sending me these beautiful, amazing wigs. They straighten like a dream. Come on now. You saw me straighten it this whole time. Literally so beautiful. I definitely recommend this brand. Um, I recommend these wigs. These are awesome. Um, the cons are it's a little bit tight. They're, the caps are a little bit small. But when the hair lays down, you can't even tell. But the pros are it's only 45 bucks the hair is silky smooth beautiful it's not tangling at all 
especially with this one, so freaking long. Um, the color on both of these wigs are absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm very impressed. Absolutely beautiful. The wigs come super long, so you can style them and cut them however you want. I definitely recommend these for cosplayers, for people who really want to make an amazing Halloween costume, or for people who just want to be bold and just go out and live their life in a beautiful colored wig. And of course, there is a percent off down in the description. And so with my code on the Yule Box website, it is NADA, capital N-A-D-D-A, -D -D -A for 15% off. I do not get paid for this video. This video has not been sponsored. They simply just let me pick out some wigs and they sent them to me. So I am extremely freaking grateful to be working with them and to be receiving such beautiful freaking products and i hope you guys can use my code again it's not an affiliate link i'm not getting paid from anything it's just a little 15 percent off to help you guys out um so that you can get your hands on a beautiful awesome quality colorful wig they not only sell wigs but they also sell like accessories and um different cute kawaii clothing so thank you guys so much for stay staying to the end and watching this i really do appreciate that and I will see you in the next one.